Hello everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classy Power App. In this video, we'll be discussing about the Azure Key Vault and try to use that Azure Key Vault data in the Power Automate. Azure Key Vault is a service given by the Azure where you can store your credentials, your secrets and your keys. So in this video, we'll first create the Azure Key Vault first. Later, we create one secret inside it and later we get that secret inside our Power Automate. Okay, so I'm just navigating to my screen. So now we first need to create the LK Vault. So we go with the Azure portal. Okay, so here I my Azure portal is there. So we need to create first Azure Vault. So we click on this key vaults okay and we click, click on this create and now a small form is there you need to just fill it uh, resource let's say resource grow I'm just using my the new one no the existing one only so I'm just using Prashant API management. Let's use this one. This resource group I'm using, and the key name I'm using. Let's say Alt Alt one. Okay. Reason is first one is not is already used, so we use test Alt one. Okay. Test Alt one. Let's try. Okay, it is also used, so we. Uh, underscore Prashant underscore is not acceptable there okay. so already in use we need to try with different name let's say Prashant uh, Azure Key Vault this is my wallet name okay so I guess it is okay we can use that one and reason is East US price is standard and we are making as as, as it is okay so we we'll click on this review and create okay so now we are creating this now we have our Azure Key Vault has created and Azure is simply deploying that in our my portal okay so it takes a little time so let's wait for it and meanwhile to that we need to use the azure key vault in our power automate okay so let's just wait it has yes it's about to done let's wait one more minute then we can do it okay so deployment is completed now we go to the go to resource Okay, so let's here you can see at the left tabs you can see different sections so I'm just using one secret okay so I'm just creating one secret first so create one secret let's say secret name is okay so I'm just using different name for this let's say uh, um, secret some secret one Prashant secret one and for some time I'm just using this value as uh, A B C D E F G H I okay I can also do this not bad A B C D E F G H I at the rate one two three okay let's say this is my value of my secret so I'm just copying this and pasting it here now set of activation date i'm just i'm not doing anything here i'm just simply creating this and the name of my secret is pras secret one okay so just copy it just create this okay so in my world i have one secret now the time is we need to just grab that secret in our power automate okay so come to the power automate first we need to create the connection with the Azure Vault, okay. So we come to the connections and we search for Key Vault. Azure Key Vault. 
okay we need to create the new connection sorry now write it here keyword. okay so here we have the azure keyword okay this is the premium connect connection so we click on this create and here it asks you the wallet name okay so if i come here my wallet name is this one prs azure key vault okay so i just copy it and paste it here okay now i click on this create so it is using the credentials from which i have logged in with my power automate okay so i'm just using the same because the azure key vault i have created in the azure id which is also using the same credentials okay so my connection is created now now come to the power flows and we start creating one flow create the button flow okay so now we'll try to fetch that secret okay so we use evolt with the keyword and we need to fetch a secret okay so we come with the get secret okay get secret and name of the secret we need to just attach here so let's check with the drop down as this is attached directly to my azure key vault from the credentials that i have used so it will give you all the secrets that are associated with the particular key vault okay remember like when we creating the connection we have given that this is the wallet to which we are making the question so in the list it would give us the secret that are associated in the particular key vault so here i have our secret one okay so let's just save it and once you get save we we'll test it here also you can store the keys the secrets the certificates this keyword is actually used to store the client id client secrets of multiple uh, applications okay in that can be used for the authentications so this service is uh, actually used by the given by the azure okay actually this is the best practice to store the your credentials because whenever you need to create any connection or you need to do any type of authentication you simply pass the client id and client secret in the power automate itself directly hard code and which is not good at all you, you can't simply write your credentials directly on this on on in the in, like uh, on the connector okay so just test it now now just now just see whether i can fetch the data or not okay so i get the data okay so here you can see i get the value a b c d e f j remember that this is the value i have stored see in my secret of this okay so you can do one more thing like as if someone has the access to get come to the to this automate and check the logs of it he can also see this value Al already this value is not it should not be visible for everyone okay so we need to just hide this value so what you can do you can simply click on this settings and here there is an option to secure your inputs and your outputs okay now just save it and just check it again save it here you can see i now i have the log symbol here now see what happens now flow run flow run successfully if i try to open it now i can't see the output okay but you can but you can use this output for your requirement okay so that is how is it actually works the reason why we are creating the azure key vault is let's take an example you need to authenticate in certain around five to six flows or maybe multiple flows so instead of writing the main secrets in the flow better to store that secret in the azure keyboard and use that secret in your automate 
if and if in future if you need to just modify the modify it you can actually come to the azure keyword and simply change the credentials okay so that's how it would be good okay so that is all guys like uh, this is how you can uh, use the secrets you can use the azure keyword in the power automate because uh, we have created the connection so we can use that keyword in power app as well or in power automate as well in this video i have shown only in the power automate but you can use that connection to get data in the power apps as well okay so thank you everyone if you have any queries in the in the azure keyword you can just write in the comment sections okay so thank you thank you everyone have a